Nobody made money Friday night because no one could get downtown, and it's ridiculous. The festivities may be over, but tensions are still simmering after Mexican Independence Day celebrations got wild across Chicago. Yeah, between the traffic jams and confrontations with police, the weekend was not entirely peaceful. Gabriela Primus has more. Chaotic is exactly how many people would describe this past weekend in the city. A decision Friday night to close all access to downtown kept people and law enforcement crowding the streets. Audrey Clay was looking forward to watching the show in the city on Friday, but instead she sat in her car as she tried to get around closed roads. It makes no sense to me that the parameters of the entire downtown economic district is shut down. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins says the decision to close roads was for everyone's safety. We knew that if we allowed those vehicles to get to downtown, um, it was just going to be chaos all night long. So. Do you think that there might be a better plan that um, officials could come up with? You know, we're working on this. We get better every year. One area for improvement right now is providing access for residents of the downtown area. Hopkins says the celebration was inconvenient for some, but it could have been worse. He says there were 15 arrests in the downtown area related to Mexican Independence Day activities. But if you include the outlying neighborhoods, there were a total of 86 arrests. He says two police officers downtown did have some serious injuries, but they've since been treated and released. Uh, most of the injuries for police officers in the downtown area were for things like being maced. A couple of them were hit with bottles that were thrown. I don't think we condone any type of um, illegal activity. You know, we just want to have a good time. Mexican Patriotic Club says the holiday attracts so many people because it is the one day the city celebrates in unison with Mexican heritage. You know, um, it's exciting to see everyone kind of come together showing their love for their heritage and their culture. Hopkins says that there's just as much crime this year as in years past. In Old Town, Gabriela Primus, Fox 32, Chicago.